Welcome, my viewer, to our first class or first lesson on linear motion mathematics form 2 with the teacher Anthony Kimaya. The question reads A bus left at Nairobi at 9 a.m. and traveled towards Eldoret at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. At 9.30, a car left Eldoret towards Nairobi at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Full stop. Given that the distance between Nairobi and Eldoret is 400 kilometers. The first question, calculate the time the car arrived in Nairobi. So, the question, the first thing to do, my viewer, is to illustrate the towns, the towns or the distance between the two towns, which we assume they are on the straight road. And we have our first town here being Nairobi and Eldoret. And then the distance between the two towns, we are told it is 400 kilometers. And then a bus left Nairobi at 9 a.m. So we indicate with an arrow the direction of the bus. And then we summarize the, that is the bus at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And also the time, which is 9 a.m. That is the information of the bus. The other information, it is information of a car which left at Eldoret and traveled towards Nairobi. At 9.30 a.m. At a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. That is the car. And then they are going to the meeting point. So the first question it is the time the car arrived in Nairobi. So having illustrated that question, my viewer, like that, so we only have to calculate the time the car arrived in Nairobi. The formula goes, and we understand that uh, this is uh, a question on linear motion on opposite direction. Now the first question, the time that the car arrived in Nairobi will be, we know that the time, formula for calculating time, is equal to distance over speed. So distance, we know it is 400 kilometers. over speed, speed of the car. Speed of the car was 120 kilometers per hour. So by kilometer by kilometer cancels out and then you are left with a time and then 400 divided by 120, my viewer, will be 3 hours and 20 minutes. In terms of decimals, the answer is 3.3333 hours. Now, having gotten the time taken by the car to arrive at Nairobi, the question is asking the time the car arrived at Nairobi. This is the time taken. Therefore, the time that the car arrived at Nairobi will be at the departure time is 9.30. We add 3 hours and 20 minutes. 9.30 plus 3 hours and 20 minutes, which will be 0, 5, 12 p.m. So this implies, my viewer, the car arrived at 12.50 p.m. on Nairobi. That is the, our first answer. The time the car arrived in Nairobi is equal to 12 or 50 minutes past 12. Now the second part of the question might be one. Ask them the time the two vehicles met. Now, when we are calculating the time that the two vehicles met, this is a linear motion on an uh, opposite direction. And then from our time, from the departure time, my viewer, we understand that uh, there is one vehicle left, uh, uh, dip, dip, left earlier than the other. Or at 9 a.m. and another one at 9.30 a.m. 
So therefore, the difference between uh, uh, the difference between 30 a.m. and 9 a.m. is 30 minutes. So therefore, what should ring into our mind first uh, is to calculate the distance to travel by the car that arrived that left the town area, which is the bus. The bus uh, departed at Nairobi at 9 a.m. So from 9 a.m. to 9 that a.m., we calculate that distance that it traveled. The distance of 30 minutes, 9.30 p.m. minus 9.30 a.m. So time is equal to, time of the bus is equal to half an hour or 30 minutes. And therefore distance, that's what we are calculating. And then speed of the bus, we know it is 80 kilometers per hour. So therefore the distance that the bus traveled before the car started the journey was and then the, uh, the distance is equal to formula is given by my viewer distance is equal to speed times time is equal to speed of the bus is 8 multiplied by the time of half an hour and then you are left by hour uh, by hour by hour cancel result we are left with 8 by kilometer by 2 1 by 2 brings you gives you 40 so the at the distance that uh, the bus traveled before the car left at uh, Eldoret was a distance of 40 kilometers now that's not the question the question is asking the time the two vehicles met when they are traveling in the opposite direction it means that at 9 30 a.m the bus had covered a distance of 40 kilometers at that point now the distance which we have to get the relative distance. These are two vehicles. The distance between them, it is what we are referring to as relative distance or the gap between them, which will be the 400 kilometer subtract the 40 kilometer covered by the bus before the car left, which will be, therefore, my viewer, my relative distance will be 400 kilometer subtract 40 kilometer and it will be 360 kilometers. We have our distance now, which will help us to calculate the time that the two vehicles met. We know that uh, time, now the speed, which is referred to as relative speed in two objects, uh, two vehicles in opposite direction, my viewer. What we do, I would like you to note that uh, we do add the two speeds. Therefore, our relative speed, because there are two vehicles, will be the 120 km per hour plus the 80 km per hour of the bus. And the answer will be 200 km per hour. That will be the speed that we are going to use. So therefore, when the question we want to, to get the time it took for them to meet. So time, normally we do calculate it by time is equal to distance over speed. Is equal to distance. In this case, it's our relative distance that we have gotten as 360 kilometer. Divided by speed. Speed of the relative speed which we have calculated here, which is 200 kilometers per hour and therefore by kilometer by kilometer we are left with time therefore it will be 360 divided by 200 and time give us that it took one hour and 48 minutes for the two vehicles to meet in terms of decimals it is 1.8 hours when we separate, it is 1 hour 48 minutes. Now, with the time of the day that uh, the two vehicles met, what we do is that this time, this time which is 1 hour 48 minutes, we shall add to the latest time that started to count when the car left its journey, started its journey, or left at Eldoret, which will be 9.30 a.m. plus 1 hour and 48 minutes which will be 8 and then 3 plus 4, 7 minus 6, 1 
and then plus one I want to the other side which will be 10 and 11. So it is at 11, 18 minutes past 11 a.m. that's the time of the day that the two vehicles met. So they met at somewhere here at 11 18 a.m. That's the answer. Time when the two vehicles met my viewer. We go proceed to the third question. It is asking us to calculate the distance from Nairobi to the meeting point. The distance from Nairobi to the meeting point. Now at this case, my viewer, the one who is traveling from Nairobi is what we shall calculate the distance. The one who is traveling from Nairobi, it is the bus. So we shall be calculating the distance that the bus traveled from Nairobi all the way to the meeting point. We have the time for the hour from where the bus started the journey, where they started to compete at 9.30 when the car started its journey. It is time taken, it is traveled all the way one for one hour, 48 minutes. That's what we are going to use, the time. So when we are calculating the distance, my viewer, it shall be distance is equal to speed times time. Distance is equal to speed times time. Speed of the one who is traveling from Nairobi, it is the bus. So the bus, it is speed, speed of the bus, it is 80 kilometers per hour. Multiplied by the time. So it traveled from, at this point, it traveled from for 1 hour and 48 minutes. So what do we do? Which was, in terms of decimals, was 1.8 hours. 1.8 hours, that's the time. So from our calculator, 1.8 multiplied by 8. So it means, my viewer, that by hour by hour here, then you are to read kilometer. It means that from this point of 40 kilometers from Nairobi, the bus traveled for 1 hour and 48 minutes at a distance of 144 kilometers. So it traveled another 144 kilometers. Now, the question is asking the distance from Nairobi, my viewer. So therefore, the distance from Nairobi, it is the first part of the journey that it traveled for 30 minutes before the car started the journey. And the second part of the journey that it traveled for 1 hour 48 minutes, which is 144 kilometers. We shall be adding the two distances, which will be 144 plus 40 kilometers which is 184 kilometer. So that is the distance from Nairobi at, to, to, all the way to the meeting point. So they met at a point of 184 kilometer, my viewer. We have our eight marks now. Now the last part of the question is that uh, calculate the distance of the bus from Nairobi when the car arrived, the distance of the bus from Eldoret when the car arrived in Nairobi. So the car it is traveling towards Nairobi. Now the bus it is uh, traveling to Eldoret. Now we shall at this meeting point uh, the rest of the distance. So meanwhile that the car it is here and also the bus, both of them are there at the meeting point. Now the car, it means that uh, when the question is asking the distance of the bus from Eldoret uh, when the car arrived at Nairobi. So mean, this, means, this implies that uh, if the car will take two hours to reach Nairobi, the same same two hours we shall be calculating at uh, the distance that uh, the, uh, the bus will have traveled. Therefore, the distance of the, that the car will be required to travel, it is this. 184 kilometers to reach Nairobi. So we have the distance and we have the speed of the car. So we calculate the time taken by the car to reach Nairobi. Time is equal to 
distance over speed is equal to distance of 184 divided by speed of the car, which is 120. And then the answer will be 184 divided by 120. It took one hour and 32 minutes. In terms of decimals, it is 1.53 or 1.533 hours. Now at the same, same time, we shall find the distance that the bus will travel from the meeting point and then we see whether it will, uh, uh, how far it will be outside Eldorado. So it will be distance is equal to speed times time is equal to speed of the bus is 80 kilometers per mile. You are multiplied by time of 1.5 days. So the distance that it will travel it will be 1.533 multiplied by 8, which is 122.67 kilometers. That is the distance that the bus will travel from the meeting point. Therefore, my viewer, now, from the meeting point, a point of 184 kilometers, which is uh, this one. So, from the meeting point, the bus had how many kilometers to reach Eldoret? So, the bus had remained a distance of A distance of 400 kilometers subtract 184 kilometer. 400 minus 184. It is 216 kilometers. Distance remaining will be 400. So the distance of 400 kilometers subtract 184. The, the distance remaining from the meeting point is 216 kilometers. So the, that distance, in a duration of 1.533 hours, the time that the car reached Nairobi, that the, at that duration, bus had traveled a distance of 122.67 kilometers. Therefore, the question is asking the distance of the bus from Eldoret when the car arrived at Nairobi. Therefore, what we are just going to do, my viewer, it is to subtract the distance remaining, which was 216 kilometers, subtract the 122 kilometers that it traveled. So, 216 minus 122.67, which is a distance of 93.33 kilometers. That is the distance, my viewer, that the bar was uh, from Eldoret when the car arrived at Nairobi. That is our first question on linear motion that is on opposite direction. Thank you for watching on YouTube, my YouTube channel at Teacher Anthony. Kemani, that is my YouTube channel and thank you my viewer for watching again and don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and give me a view, give me a like and all will be well and we shall pass mathematics together. Thank you for watching again.